Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to make the angular charts of Synfusion more interactive by adding tooltips to it. So, before looking onto it, let me show you a simple real time example now. Have a look at this demo page where the column series chart is showing the different kinds of medals won by different countries in the Olympic game. Here, you can easily interact with the chart and get more information about these data points in a tooltip by moving the mouse over the desired data points. Not simply the text information, but you can also customize the tooltip content using the built-in formatting option of the chart. So, now I will show you how to write code to add and customize the tooltip on charts using my existing application. As I have already explained about how to add a simple angular chart of Synfusion to the angular application, please listen to my getting started video to know the basic steps and you can also find its reference link in the description part below. Here in my existing application, I have added the column series chart now with its relevant properties to view the Olympic Games data. As I am directly going to show you how to add tooltips to the angular charts in this video, therefore, Let's have a quick recap about the properties I have defined in this application now for rendering this line series chart. Firstly, in the app module file, I have imported and injected the column series service and the category service from Synfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package to start using the column series chart with categorized access. Also, I have set the chart series type as column here and assigned its data source value with the Olympic Games data. Also, I have mapped its appropriate data source fields to the xname and yname properties. Apart from these properties, I have also set the title for x and y axis as well as the main title for the chart with the relevant text. And additionally, I have set the value type of x axis as category to display the text values on x axis. Now you can view the column chart output like this with the so far defined properties. Ok, let me proceed now with how to add tooltips to the angular charts. So, within the app module file, I need to import the tooltip service from Synfusion EJ2 angular charts package and inject the same within the provider section as well. Then, to enable the tooltip, let me open the app component class and here, I need to declare a variable tooltip settings and set its enable option as true. Now, I will assign this object to the tooltip property of the chart. So here, you can view the chart output which shows tooltip for every data points. Now, I am going to show you how to format the tooltip content to show the data points information in a more customized style. To format the tooltip, let me open the app component class and within the tooltip settings object, I need to define the format property with the customized template value like this. As I have already mapped this tooltip settings object to the tooltip property of the chart, now let me show you the chart output directly. So here, you can view the chart output which displays the tooltip with series information for every data points. Ok, next I will proceed to show you how to map the data source fields directly within the format property so that you can view the tooltip with the data source field values. So, to map the data source field to the format property, I need to define one more field text to the existing data source. Now, let me map this data source field text to the tooltip mapping name property of the chart and then I need to modify the template value for format property like this. See the chart output now which displays the tooltip with data source field values so that you can view the country name and medals count in the chart. Now, let me show you how to format the tooltip using the HTML template. Within the app component class, let me define the template property with the HTML template value like this. Here, I have used the table element to format the tooltip. Now when you look at the chart output, you can see the tooltip displayed with the custom table design. Alright, finally, I am going to show you how to customize and enhance the look of the tooltip using the textile fill and border options of the tooltip property. Here, the fill option is used to customize the background color, border is used to set the border width and color and textile option is used to customize the tooltip font. Now, let me set the border for tooltip. So, I will open the app component class and here, I am going to remove this property from tooltip settings object because HTML template contains border property. 
Now I am going to define the border property and set the custom values for with and color option. So here you can view the chart output which displays the tooltip with border with and color. Ok, finally let me summarize the main points we discussed in this session. We have seen about how to add tooltips to the angular charts of Synfusion and also how to format the tooltip content with both the HTML and custom template values. And then we have also discussed about how to enhance the look of the tooltip by adding border to it. I hope this video helps you to understand how easy it is to add tooltips to the chart component. Therefore, in my next upcoming video, I will show you how to display the crosshair and trackballs to the angular charts. If you find this video as useful, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks for watching this video.